I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a multiple choice test question on trigonometry. The question here is Mr. Peter's Husky mute likes spending time in the backyard that has a triangular shape with one angle being obtuse. So that's the obtuse angle. He is on a leash attached to the post at the vertex A. If his favorite sleeping spot is between C and D, that means somewhere here, what should be the possible length of the leash so that he can get there? So we want the length A to E. Right? That's what the question is. We are also given some dimensions here. Between A to B, it is 9 meters. Between B to C, it is 5 meters and between C to D it is 2 meters. You can use these values to calculate the answer. One of these choices is the correct answer. What we can do here is by method of elimination we can actually get the right choice. Let us assume that uh, we have a case with right triangle. Right. So the minimum length has to be much greater than, let's say this point is A dash. So we are looking for a length which is much greater than A dash C, correct? This is what we are looking for. Now let's find what is A dash C equal to. Now if it is a right triangle, in that case A dash B is 9 meters, so it has to be greater than square root of 9 square plus BC is 5 plus 5 square. That means it is much greater than square root of 81 plus 25. This is more than 100. Since this is more than 100, we have choices which are like 10 is 100, 10.2 is slightly more than 100. However, it is much more than that, right? So we know it should be more than even 10.2, right? So that gives us option as option D, the right option. Perfect. Now that is how you could solve this multiple choice question. Now here comes the real question for you. You can take this as an open question and then find possible length of the leash which is A right and the angle let me write angle A B C I mean angle A B C okay so the obtuse angle let's call this theta so let this be the question for you now. So find what could be possible length AE and for that length what is the obtuse angle theta, right? So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.